Apocalypse and welcome to my Minecraft uh, tutorial and Let's Play World. We're going to call this world Down Under. It's going to be in Survival and we, got, we have a special seed that we're going to put in it. Um, everything else is default and when we are ready we can click Create. So in this Let's Play tutorial, we're going to just survive the first little bit of Minecraft and get you through and introduce you to the game. Okay, here we are, just has started us in a tree, which is great. Now the first thing you need to know is how to look around and navigate in the world. And you do that with the mouse and you move with the WASD keys. Now, as you move away, the most important part of Minecraft is to gather resources. And you do this simply by left-clicking and holding it down until the, the block drops. So we have a dirt block. Well, let's get another couple of blocks just to show how it works. So you can see that they have stacked there. Now you see I have an achievement. It said, taking inventory. Uh, we can see the achievement menu. We go to the menu and there on achievements, we have the first achievement taking inventory. So today we'll only focus on this achievement and getting wood. All right, let's get some wood. Once again, hold down a left click until the block drops a resource and we'll collect all the wood in this tree. Okay, wood is one of the most useful uh, blocks you can have. You can use it to craft a lot of different things, but crafting is in our next video. This video is just gathering a few items and interacting with the environment. So as well as blocks, there's also these smaller items. This is a mushroom which you can collect and this grass sometimes drops a seed. Oh, there we go. Now if I want to get up a ledge, I just press jump or spacebar, and once I have a few seeds, there's another item I can get over here. This is a flower. It is two box high, and if we break the bottom, it drops the whole flower. There you go. So you have some items which are blocks, which you can collect by hitting them. Some blocks you need to get tools to collect, but wood and dirt. Uh, easy to collect just by punching them. Alright, as this tree is collected, you'll notice that some of the leaves disappeared. Without any wood left in the tree, the leaves will all go away. Alright, you'll see that we have some interesting animals. There's squids in the water, some wolves up on that mountain, some sand and we're going to collect some of these blocks. All right, another important tip for Minecraft is if you press function F3, or F3 if you're on a PC, and it brings up location. So over here is the X, Y, and Z coordinate, and it also shows you which way you're facing east, in my case. And if you look at the sun, the sun is slowly moving up this way, and so it's rising in the east and setting in the west. You'll see that as I change directions, the way I'm facing is also changing. Well, I am going to head southwest. And as we go, we're going to collect resources that we find. So down the hill, and I break some grass. Hoping to get some more seeds because we're going to plant them later. And if I double tap or hit quickly twice the move forward button, W, then it makes me run. Oh, get these seeds. All right, we have some more flowers. I might as well collect them as I go. Okay, you see that these are filling up my bar. What we can do is we can move them into our inventory. You see there's a little crafting space which we'll show later and also slots to put armor in. 
Oh, and also there's a picture of me. Hello. All right. Oh, we have our first um, sugar cane, which was there. Now you see these items are already just floating here. That's because when the well generated, um, it first thought to put flowers here and then it decided to put sand. And once it had sand, it realized the flowers couldn't survive. So they kind of drop off and die. All right, let's get this brown mushroom. So now we have lots of flowers, plants, and mushrooms. Now, let's show you how to kill an animal. The chicken's the easiest animal to kill, and once again, just like collecting a block, we do that by right-clicking. It's running away from me, so one hit at a time. we we'll run away. Because we don't have any weapon, it takes a little while, but it dropped some raw chicken flesh and a feather. We can get another one. Come on. There we go. Now, as we've been uh, fighting and punching and running, we've used up some energy. So you can see that we have a hunger bar down here, which is slowly decreased. And we also have a health bar over here. Um, if we have a full hunger bar, it will restore some health. All right, just to show you that the sand is also gatherable, we can just dig that. But if I try and gather stone, it is not very helpful. It does not work at all. I can break it, but it doesn't drop any blocks. Gravel, on the other hand, does drop. Now, gravel and sand are two interesting blocks in that if I dig underneath dirt, and most other blocks, they just stay there, but if I dig underneath gravel, it drops. So gravel and sand are the two blocks that have gravity. So let me just collect some sand. Sand I'll be able to use soon to make glass. Okay, so let's continue on. You can see that there's normal stone, then there's also this other kind of stone, and this very special stone which is called coal. So once we have the tools, we'll be able to break that block and it drops a little bit of coal, which is very useful for lighting. Okay, here's some cows once again. Let's try and gather their resources. The yummy, yummy flesh. And that drops some meat and some leather. An important, uh, important thing to note about this beef is it's the only meat you can, well, I'm pretty sure it's the only meat you can eat without cooking and it doesn't make you give, have the potential to make you sick. If you eat chicken, raw or pork raw, there's a small chance it might make you ill. There we go, now we have six and we'll let that one live. Okay, now I want to get over here. I could break that block to do it, but I could also run and jump and it helps me jump that gap. Okay, oh, over here we have another interesting block. It is lava. Um, it has come out and when it interacts with water, it makes stone. So over here we have a nice pretty flower biome. And we're heading this way. Up on top of this mountain is some snow, which we can gather with a shovel. But in this episode, we're not worrying about tools or crafting. We're just exploring and navigating. Here we have some sheep. Um, if you have the tools, which are shears, you can gather their wool. Here we go. And if we just hurt them enough. Come on. You see it took full damage. There we go. It dropped some uh, mutton, raw mutton, and some wool. Alright. Let's head this way. Let's check our coordinates. We want to be heading this way. There's a special spot I saw when I had a quick look around in another version of this map. Minecraft maps are procedurally generated, which means that they uh, are all unique if you just let them randomly um, built. But if you give them a specific seed or a number to start with, then it makes the same world for everyone. Now, I've only got two and a bit pieces of hunger haunches left, and I cannot run anymore. But if I eat, you notice know, so my hunger bar goes up, and I can once again move with much more ease. 
Alright, up oh, top of the hill. Oh, and then we have, um, you see this is a different kind of wood. This is um, spruce wood. Let's collect some and we'll show you the difference. It's got a grayer, darker texture than the oak wood, which we started with. Now each wood type um, gives a different color wood and makes an interesting variation when you're building. So let's just gather and collect this tree. It's kind of considered bad man manners or uncultured or something to start chopping a tree and not collecting it all. You don't want to just have half floating trees in your world. All right, let's go down here to this plains biome. You'll see that the grass changes color depending on um, what kind of land you're in. Let's head down. Ooh. Now I fell too far. You can fall one or two blocks. Here's a two block height. And you can fall that quite easily. But if you fall too much further than that, you'll take some damage. And your damage or your health over here can only recover if you have a full bar of health. A uh, full bar of hunger. Now, the sun is setting over here in the west and it's getting darker. Now, in Minecraft, that is dangerous because when it gets dark, that's when the monsters come out. Skeletons, zombies, and spiders. So let's continue to run over here. We'll gather some flowers, and maybe some seeds as we go. Some more lava, which is useful. We'll need that later. And here it is, the place I wanted. This is a village in a very special, special location. Oh, I'm too hungry to run again. Let's top that up. All right, so we have a village, which will give us some things we need to start our journey here in Minecraft. But before we finish, I just want to show you a special thing about this particular map that I just love. Okay, let's see if we can see it from up here. Oh, up the mountain. Climbing mountains always a bit tricky. Take some clever climbing. All right, and sure, I'm just a little bit higher to get the angle that I want. Here we go. I don't know if you can tell, but the river here, all around here almost makes the top end of the map of Australia. So let's keep going up as high as we can get. So my plan is to turn this village into a, onto an island that looks like Australia. All right. Well, that is a very first episode. Let's see how we can get this. There we go. Of our Minecraft tutorial Let's Play. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Ellipse and have a great day.